All right, we got everything installed. The Outback Mavericks, 10-inch Mavericks, A631 antenna on the roof. Um, the M1 steering controller is bolted into the floor underneath the seat of this tractor. And the SI2 wheel is replaced by factory steering wheel. And I just, I got all the connectors plugged in and just want to make sure that everything's working right. So I'll click on diagnostic and just see everything here is lit up. I got the A631 on the roof, the Mavericks 10 inch there, and then my ESI2 steering wheel and that M1 steering controller is all lit up. The only thing that's grayed out is that AC110 controller. I don't have one plugged in, so that's why it's grayed out. So just let you know that's how everything's working. If something's grayed out, you probably missed a connector or Worst case scenario, something's not on the right firmware. We'll get you straight and sorted, sorted out if something's not straight. But this is where you go to make sure that everything's working properly. Yeah, so we're running on WAS right now, SBAS. And the reason it says SBAS rather than WAS is because WAS is GPS specific, where the AC, the A631 antenna is not just receiving GPS. It's also receiving GLONASS, Galileo, and Bayou constellations. For signal so that's why it says s bass see we got our john deere tractor in case i had your disc on this is how we did it go to machines and then my tractor go back to information so then i plugged in my 7820 2004 and then that's where you modify modify your model year, change your color even, it's a deer, accept, the dimensions, plug in where your antenna's at, height off the ground, wheelbase of the tractor, length from the draw bar to the axle, all plugs into how the tractor steers on the either straight track or curved track, antenna offset, mine's right in the middle. Wherever you've got metal, wherever you want to mount that antenna, that A631 on the roof, just plug it in and uh, you can just go left or right. If you got a bolt there, that's where you want to magnet off of, plug it there. And then if you're forward or backward off that axle, that's all they need for wherever you want to mount it. And then back to the machines, we got the disc. I just put in the old disc is what I named it. And then the dimensions. Same thing, just measure from your draw bar hitch out to the control point or the, ax the axle or the control point of the implement where it's going to actually steer when it's in the ground, what that pivot point is, and then from that pivot point onto the rear of the disc. And then I've got no offset, it's the same width. It's just a 22 foot disc. And then I plugged in four inches for overlap so that I know I cover the whole field. And when you want to plug that in, just choose your color so that when you're on the home screen it looks just like just like what you have out there in the real world. ESI2 steering wheel replacement. Still got the telescope full functionality. Calibrations on Mavericks 10 inch with the SI2 wheel. Go to machines, go to tractor, and then calibration. We have all of our settings programmed in with our wheel. This wheel now calibrate. Wheel angle estimate. Smooth clear area, five, 300 feet diameter. Accept. Accept. That wheel is really quiet. It's hard to hear it.
I'll do the wheel walk calibration. Turn wheels to full walk. So now I'll turn all the way to the right. where we drive and then when we come so right now we're making a line and then when we come back it'll automatically follow the contour of what we're driving right now so the the green switch is turned on basically just telling this the machine the outback that we have the disc in the ground and we're tilling we want to keep track of where we've been and then when we come back we'll have a contour that the mavericks and the esi2 wheel will just perfectly follow where we've already been You'll notice the red steering wheel is flashing red. Basically, there's no guidance lines in the neighborhood that, that could be used right now. That's why that's flashing red. When you get next to a line, it'll turn orange, and then once you're engaged, that wheel will be green when you're actually steering. We've got all the measurements for the disc and the tractor plugged in so that it tracks where the disc is as it pivots around behind the tractor so then when we go back on auto steer it'll tuck that in right next to where we've already been i really like on the mavericks how it shows the picture of a disc rather than just a picture of a boom you know and it lets me plug in then i got a john deere tractor so i got a green tractor there and a red disc for a case like disc it really brings it into brings the physical into the digital world Notice the GPS speed there, 5.6, matches the tractor perfect. And the uh, differential is seven, so we're pulling off seven satellites currently. Um, this system is just running off of WAS right now, or SBAS. Um, this this uh, A631 antenna that we're running is capable of running off of RTK that could run off of your state's cores network, or it also has Atlas capability that can run off Atlas Row Crop or Atlas Broad Acre. The Atlas Row Crop runs one to three inch pass to pass, or the Atlas Broad Acre runs six to 12 inches pass to pass. Where this S-Pass that we're running on right now, it runs a little under a meter for accuracy. All right, we're coming up on the end of the terrace here. We'll quit recording and turn around. So quit recording, you just tap that off and then it shuts off the green. So we pick up and whip around. Dab the brake. Drop the disc in the ground. Tell the computer we're going. Still in the red. We'll get in the orange here in a second when we're on track, closer to track. We're engaged on our old track that we just took. Got out and picked up the rock we saw in the field. Notice the shift has popped up in the middle now. Shows we're off by zero inches. Just constantly correcting, keeping us on that line.
that ESI2 is really quiet. You can't even hear it running. The, think about a motor inside the cab with you, and you, you don't even notice it. Don't even notice it. The A631 that we're running right now for GPS correction and signal is currently running on WAS or S pass. So we're, we're really on the lowest correction there is right now, running one sub one meter accuracy. And I'd say we're, we're seeing a lot better than one meter accuracy, but it says inch or two inches off. If you're planting corn rather than doing tillage, I would recommend the row crop correction. It runs one to three inches past pass accuracy which is a subscription onto the A631 antenna. The green button on the right side here, that's the full system power. So by having it clear up into this green steering wheel on, that supplies power to the SI2 wheel. Um, this is wired direct to the battery. It's fused for 10 amps. So I didn't want to hook it into the power strip on my tractor. You could. Um, I just wanted to run it straight to the battery. So it's not on key power. So when the system needs to be shut off for the night, you gotta turn it off with that rocker switch. The boot up is really fast, faster than the tractor building temperature on these cold mornings. You've already got correction and everything up just like that, as soon as the tractor has temperature. Remote and disengage, and the remote engage, disengage, engage. The remote button that comes with the Mavericks. All right, so we finished our field. Let's pull up and see what it looked like. Go to the map screen, and we'll load our map. And this is the job we finished last night. So now we got a map of where we went. It says we did 41.2 acres and it took 2.47 hours. And then the other job we did last night, just a little corner of 40, 13 acres. See where you've been? And then the job we did this morning. <laughs>